Hello friends. Welcome to MH Tutorial English. Today we are going to learn about two types of images. The real images and the virtual images. After watching this video, you will be able to answer all these questions yourself. Let's start. What is an image? Before answering this question, we will take a look at some of the optical devices through or against which the rays of light interact. Here we will show you the optical paths of rays about the devices through 3D animations. First, let us have a plane mirror. Let P be the point on the top of this yellow arrow object. From the point P, rays of light are spreading all around. Some of the rays will be directed towards the plane mirror and will come back again after reflection. Here different colored particles are used to indicate the incident rays and the reflected rays separately. After reflection, the rays diverge further. Looking back of it, you can imagine that the reflected rays are perhaps emitting from a point behind the mirror. It is as if the lights are coming out from the point P dash. In this case, an image of the point P will be formed at point P dash. Underneath the P dash point, an image identical to the entire arrow is formed. Next, we will see the path of the rays about a convex mirror. Here too, an arrow-like object is placed in front of the mirror. The top point of the arrow is P. The rays of light from the point P will be reflected back by the mirror. The reflected rays appear to be coming out of a point P dash at the back of the mirror. Therefore, the image of the point P will be formed at the point P dash. Underneath the P dash point, a smaller right side up image of the entire arrow is formed. Concave lens. Here, the rays emitted from the point P will be passing through it. After the refraction, the rays tend to spread. If you look closely, you can imagine that the refracted rays are perhaps coming out of some other point in front of the lens. An image of the point P is formed at that P dash point. Underneath the P dash point, a right side up image of the entire arrow is formed. Now we will see the image formation in a convex lens. Here too, the rays are refracted through. However, the refracted rays do not spread. Instead, they all converge into a point. At that point of convergence, an image of the point P will be formed. The image is P dash. Above the point P dash, an image of the entire arrow is generated. This image is inverted with respect to the object. And now check out this image formation by a concave mirror. Here, the rays of light emitted from the point P is reflected back by the concave mirror. The reflected rays do not diverge here, but converge into a point at the P dash point. At that point, an image of the point P will be formed. The image is P dash. An inverted image of the entire arrow is formed above the point P dash is in place. So, we realized all types of image formation in 3D animation. Now, what is a real image? In the situation 4 with convex lens and in situation 5 with concave mirror. We see that the rays of light are meeting together or converging at one point after reflection or refraction. The images formed in these procedures are called real images. That is the definition of real images like this. If the rays of light emitted from a point source undergo a reflection or refraction and after reflection or refraction converge into a second point then the second point is termed as the real image of the point source. What is a virtual image? In the previous situation number 1 with plane mirror in situation number 2 with convex mirror and in situation number 3 with concave mirror. We saw that the rays are not converging, but diverging instead. 
If you inspect the trajectories of the reflected or refracted rays, you may find a second point from which the reflected or refracted rays appear to be coming out from. This second point is the virtual image of the first one. Do remember, it is an imaginary point. Therefore, the definition of virtual image is like this. If the rays of light emitted from a point source undergo a reflection or refraction, and after reflection or refraction diverge around, then the point of divergence is called the virtual image of the point source. So, we understand the two types of images. Real image and virtual image. Now, let's come back to our first ever question. What is an image? You can brilliantly define it now like this. If the rays of light emitted from a point source undergo a reflection or refraction, and after reflection or refraction if they converge into a point or appear to diverge from a point then the point of convergence or the point of divergence is termed as the image of the point source. Now it is time to differentiate the two types of images. Let's see the first difference between them. Reflection or refraction. No matter whatever process that the rays of light undergo. If we see that the rays of light converging into a single point, then the image at that point is definitely a real one. And if the rays not converging into but diverging out of a fictitious point, then the image at the fictitious point is a virtual image. Real image is a location where all rays of light must reach and pass through it. But in case of virtual image all rays never entered that location. Few rays may pass through this location but not all of them do so. Let me tell you the second difference. In the case of real image the light rays do converge into a real point. Because of this if you can find that point and also can hold a screen at that point and the image appears on that screen. But since a virtual image formed at an imaginary point or fictitious point, you will never be able to find it anywhere. Therefore, holding a screen at that point is not possible. Thus, you never can project a virtual image on a screen. In short, the real image can be projected on a screen. But the virtual image can never be projected. Take a look at the difference number 3. A real image is inverted or upside down with respect to the object. On the other hand, a virtual image is always upright with respect to the object. Hopefully this doesn't require explanation. You might be able to understand it yourself. Examples of real images are Screen images in theater Pictures from a projector Images formed inside a camera And so on. Examples of virtual images are Mirage in a desert. Your looks on a mirror. Images formed inside a microscope. And so on. Take a look at the differences described above in writing. Hope you understand and build a clear concept on the topic. If you like the video, give a like. And encourage us in our work. Thanks for watching the video till the end.